Okay, today is January 11th, 2012. Pit bull, black pit bull. She's lovely dog, and we're going to be working with her and her obedience um, for a while. And she's up for adoption. We have Whoa, and she's also with this killer Rottweiler, Boo. And then we're going to do some obedience with Lynn and talk a little bit. I can't even keep up with them. So obviously she's got a lot of energy. You know, I'm trying to, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll videotape uh, her obedience and we want somebody to adopt her. Okay. Okay, here we are with Lynn again. This is a beautiful little girl. She's been languishing in shelters for three years. She's been bounced around from shelter to shelter to shelter. It's had no effect on her personality. She developed some bad behaviors, obviously jumping and maybe a little cage going back and forth from being in a chef incarcerated. And her biggest problem is she's a black pit bull. Her stereotype, it's ridiculous. This is crazy and we're on a mission here at Houndstown Charities to, to dispel this rumor, or not this rumor, excuse me, this stereotype for insurance companies, corporations, uh, pet smart, pet friendly, pet this, pet that, states, Denver, Colorado. We want to dispel this rumor and we are, go we are uh, this is our, 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 one of our many goals. Lynn, heel. Good. Good girl, baby. Notice I'm not talking to her. Good girl, babe. Good. Good girl, man. Good girl, man. Good girl, baby girl. Good, man. Good. Good. Sit. Look at this baby. And she plays with other dogs. Does she get into a scrap every once in a while? Of course. Doesn't kids, five-year-old kids, sometimes push the other kid too hard? Yeah. Okay, girl. Good, baby girl. Good girl. She likes all kinds of things. He'll, good. Let's see if she'll jump over some of our little hurdles here. Good. Good. Good girl. Sit. Good girl, babe. Look at the focus she has. He'll. Hup, good. Hup, good girl. Uh, so this is, uh, sit. Good, babe. Good girl. Down. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. So what can I say? She's up for adoption. Anybody who wants to join our cause, this breed stereotype, we are on a mission. Linny, Linny girl, Linny girl, to, di well, okay. <laughs> to dispel this. This is ridiculous. I have holes in my arm from golden retrievers and beagles and poodles. None from pit bulls. Black pit bulls. Oh my God. Okay, guys, call Camille at Houndstown Charities. Email, call her. Cause somebody get it. You got a great dog here. Very responsive. We'll help you with the training. Um, contact Camille and help us in our cause of this breed stereotyping, which is asinine. It's just a matter of ignorance. And then it's insurance company. This is one of the reasons, one of the reasons that the shelters are packed with these dogs. Because if the insurance company tells you they're dangerous, PetSmart tells you they're dangerous, Petco tells you they're dangerous, uh, the legislators in Denver, Colorado, who don't have a brain they were born with tell you they're dangerous, they don't know anything. It, it, it's like telling Irish kids are dangerous. It's stupid. So let's get this taken care of with video documentation and maybe we'll educate these morons. Linny baby. All right, we're back in the field. We introduced another pain in the neck. Yep, being on my chair. And the truth be told, the St. Bernard, the loyal rescuer is the biggest pain in the neck out of the three in terms of uh, obedience. So that goes to the stereotype of uh, there is no there is no such thing. So here we have our three, and they're playing. One correction: our friend Lynn is three years old because we know that because she's been in a shelter for three years. 
probably maybe went there as a puppy. So we, here we have our field. We're not sterilizing our field. We're not taking these tug toys away so they don't fight over them. We're being leaders to dogs. If you can't be a leader to a pack animal, don't get a dog. But don't blame them. Just don't blame them because of your inadequacies. If you don't know to be a leader, you can't be a leader to a dog. You want Lynn to sleep in bed with you, and then she growls at you when you go to change the sheets. That's not the dog's fault, the human's fault. So, Lenny's a good girl, look at her. It's a, it's, it's, and, and Clyde's from the shelter. He came from the ice slip shelter, I think. Raja, where is she? Raja girl, killer. Hey, killer girl. Yeah, right, she's afraid of her own shadow. Um, she came from the Brookhaven shelter. And the shame of this is people go pay money for these dogs. They spend money. And there's no difference. So this unfortunately, Lynn, and she did have, she was jumping a lot. And she, I guess when you went to the shelter to look at her, she looked a little wacko. But she's wonderful. And she hasn't had any incidents since we're here. And we've done everything. I've introduced her to kids. Not to say she can't. Everybody has buttons and triggers. This is great. Clyde, hey old man. He's doing one and a half. How old's Raja? Almost two. Almost two. And keep an eye at Houndstown Charities for our pit bull video we're gonna be preparing. It's gonna be the pit bull video, the pit bull stereotype video. We got to start smartening people up, or the shelters. Lynn would be put down. Ra Ra Raja would be put down, at, oh, and only because of one reason: her reputation, I ignorance. Ignorance would be cause these two dogs to be put down. So let's smarten up the executives, the politicians, pet owners. Let's get the insurance company smarten up people, please, please, for these dogs' sake. Come down, call me up, the insurance company executives, and tell me that these two dogs are vicious. And I'll show you the beagle that will bite your fingers off. <laughs> I'll show you this dog. Oh my God, Camille.